Hello everybody, today we are looking at Unit 1 Biology Area Study 2. Um, the topic that we are looking at today is functioning systems. So we're going to be looking at the specialization and the organization of plant cells in their specific functions um, of vascular plants, including the intake and movement and loss of water, and then looking at the specialization organization of animal cells into tissues, organs, and systems. And in particular, we're going to look at the digestive, the endocrine, and the excretory system. So starting off with plant specialization and organization, we know that plants themselves are also very complex. They are eukaryotic cells that require the organization of those cells into tissues, organs, and systems as well. Okay, so when we talk about plants, we're talking about vascular plants, um, and vascular plants are plants that contain vascular tissues. So they are able to transport water and minerals throughout the plant. Non-vascular plants are things like moss. Um, they don't have vascular tissue, and so they only require really simplified um, tissue to function. What we're focusing on is vascular tissue. So they're any tissues that are going to transport water and nutrients within a plant, um, and we talk about the xylem tissue and the phloem tissue a lot as well here. So when we're talking about plant specialization, sort of the order that that is, um, we start off the basic unit is, of course, our different plant cells. Okay, those cells become tissues, and we're putting those tissues, they're becoming organs. Okay, so um, we'll talk about the different sort of cell types and organ types that exist, um, but the system put together um, forms the organism. So looking at some of the major vascular plant cells and their functions, okay? So the main ones that we're going to come across are here. Um, so the first type here, the parenchyma cells, they are responsible for photosynthesis, okay? And they look after sort of the metabolic activity. They're the major cells of the plant. The sclerenchyma cells, they provide support, um, as do the colenchyma cells. They provide support as well. The xylem cells, they are the cells of the xylem, which are responsible for the transport of water. And the phloem cells are the cells of the phloem, which are responsible for the transport of sugars and nutrients throughout the plant. In terms of the major organs, okay, we are looking at the leaves. They're basically the site of gas exchange. Um, and are responsible for photosynthesis. Okay, so in most species, leaves are organized to increase sunlight exposure. So they're gonna have a high surface area to volume ratio. Um, flowers, they are the sexual reproductive organ of flowering plants, okay, especially angiosperms. And um, following the fertilization of male and female gametes contained in the pollen, the seeds will develop and an ovary of a flower grows into a fruit. The fruit is our outcome of that fertilization, okay? so. Fruits produce seeds and they are often specialized to attract animals and animals can aid their dispersal as well. The stems, they support the leaves, as you can see here. Um, they support the fruits, they support the flowers and they transport any water and nutrients between the roots and between the shoots. The roots um, is where the absorption and storage of water is happening. Okay, so storage of water, nutrients, um, from the soil, the roots are also responsible for anchoring the plant to the ground, which is giving them that structural support as well. So understanding what these sort of major cells are and major organs are and their functions is really important for this unit and going into um, the next video talking about the intake and movement of water. Animal cell specialization organization is something that you're probably a little bit more familiar with. Um, so in terms of the structure, we have cells form tissues, tissues form organs, organs form systems, systems form the organism. So something that you might be familiar with is something like epithelial cells. They form the epithelium, which form the stomach. Um, the stomach is an organ of the digestive system and the digestive system, along with all the other systems, make up an organism, you. In terms of the tissue types, okay, there are four major tissue types that we look at. They are muscle, nervous, connective, and epithelial tissue. So muscle tissue is basically tissue that will contract to exert some sort of force, um, and they are skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscle tissue, okay? The nervous tissue is tissues which will detect stimuli and transmit electric signals throughout your body. And they are composed of your nerve cells, so your neurons that will detect stimuli and carry the electrical signal um, to assist the neuron transmitting that signal. 
Your connective tissue are tissues that connect and support other tissues and organs across the body. And the epithelial tissue are tissues that comprise the external and internal layers of the body, okay? Um, so these will sort of assist with protection, secretion, and absorption. In terms of systems, you are probably very familiar with or have heard of most of these before. The digestive system, okay, is to basically break down food um, and eliminate food waste that's not going to be digested, the major organs of the stomach, the liver, the pancreas, the small intestine, and the large intestine. Um, the digestive system is one that you will need to know in detail. So the function of each of these organs, you will need to know. So you can see here um, a diagram. You would need to be able to label what each of those major organs do and where they are. The excretory system is another one that you really need to know. So it removes waste substances from the blood by excretion, um, assists the body to control the water balance as well. So the kidney, bladder and lungs make up that one. And you can see that here. But you will also need to know like the ureters, the bladder, the urethra, um, like the kidney structure and things like that are stuff that you're going to go through as well. Um, the endocrine system is responsible for the production and secretion of hormones. Um, which we'll be going through in our next video, um, which control and regulate bodily processes. So this is made up of the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the thymus, the pancreas, and the adrenal gland. Skeletal system provides an internal structural support to your body. Okay, so you know about your bones, your joints, your cartilage. You could probably even name some of the bones. The muscular system is responsible for contractions in your skeletal muscle, um, the heart, and other contractions throughout your body. So they work to enable movement, so your skeletal muscle, your cardiac muscle, and your tendons all working together. Um, the integumentary system is basically your skin, okay? So protecting the internal body structures from the external environment, so your skin, your hair, your nails, your subcutaneous fat, which is just under your skin, um, forms fat. The nervous system, basically detecting any processing um, and sensory information to activate and alert your body. Um, so that is made up of your brain, your spinal cord, and your peripheral nerves. The immune system is against um, infection, and we study this a lot in year 12, contains the lymphatic system, which transport lymph fluid around the body, made up of the bone marrow, the spleen, the thymus, tonsils, and lymph nodes. And the respiratory system, responsible for moving carbon dioxide from the body and delivering oxygen to the blood, um, looking at the lungs, the nasal passage, and the trachea. The blood circulatory system, um, looking at delivering oxygen and nutrients to the tissues. So the heart, the blood vessels, so your arteries, your veins, and your capillaries are really important there. And the reproductive system. So in males, regulating the production of sperm and particular hormones. In females, regulating the production of eggs um, and particular hormones. Again, looking at ovulation and nurturing offspring and um, development. So both males and female, um, the reproductive system is going to coordinate the action for the purpose of reproduction. So looking at the testes, the penis, the ovaries, the vagina, the uterus, and the mammary glands. In terms of all of the systems, though, the three main ones that you need to know in detail are the digestive, the excretory, and the endocrine. Okay, so I've got those three here, identifying where each of those organs are and what their job is. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and I'm happy to answer them for you. All right. Have a good day. Bye.